Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to upload your child's work and how to submit it to their teacher electronically. So if you've been working on those packets recently, you have all these pieces of paper where they've written their answer down. Even on notebook paper you can scan those in this way. And we have to figure out a way to either text those or email those to your teacher and that's what I want to show you how to do. Um, the best way that I know is to use your notes app. So looking in the center of the screen, I'm going to click on notes right there. And then we'll just start a new category. So the top right corner, there's a square with a pencil. If you click on that, you can rename this section of notes and it can be anything you want it to be. This could be all of your child's math work. Or this could be the section for ELA, social studies. I teach science, so we'll just call this one science. And then anything that you upload to this note will be your child's work that's been completed. So it's kind of a way of also saving your child's work. And you know, if a teacher for some reason doesn't receive something, you have it saved. You can just go back to your notes section, find that document that you sent, click on it and resend it in another way that they might get it. Um, so how do we scan in the documents? If you look at the camera down toward the bottom right, we'll click on that. You have options. Um, you can take a photo or a video. That's one way. I'll grab a sample of my daughter's work here. She's in pre-K. So there's Lily's work. This is just like taking a normal photo with your cell phone. Click on that. You have the option to retake it if you don't like it. Or you can use that photo. If you use it, it puts the picture right into the note for you. Okay, that's one way to upload a document. The other way is to actually scan that document. So click on the uh, camera again. You have scan documents up there. This one works better with a solid color surface. And you notice the, the yellow box kind of highlight and everything once you kind of get in there and click on that. This option allows you to straighten up those lines. So you can grab those corners and, and drag them along and take out all of the background. And that'll kind of make it look like a true document. So you keep that scan, it pulls it up there just like a normal document that you scan in a copy machine. And the good thing about this option, like if there's two pieces of paper that go with the same assignment, I can go ahead and scan those while I'm working on that section. Same thing again, I can straighten up those lines if I want to. I won't be too picky in this video, but just showing you how they work. Keep that scan, and it puts the two documents together. So, you know, if you hate both of them, you can hit cancel. If you lock them, save two. It'll put both of those documents together as one scanned document, and it puts them into the same notes that you've created. Okay? So that's how you scan them and get them inside of the Notes app. Now you just have to send them to your teacher. So before you hit the Send button, here's what I suggest. Now, if you click on this assignment, it automatically named them letter patterns because that was on the first page. But if you click on those words, you can rename it. So you can put anything that you want to put on there. I suggest put your child's name or have your child put their name first and last. So we'll go Lily Waters and then explain what it is. You know, on, on this, the packet that you're working with, it should have something that names that assignment. So you could just call it Lesson 2, I guess. I don't know. Okay. This will help you stay organized and it will also help your teacher stay organized and they won't have a bunch of uploaded documents with no names and no you know assignment numbers so we just click save it changed the name for me up there at the top okay so now how do we send that to the teacher the square with the arrow pointing up that's your upload button if you click that in the top right you have the option for clicking on messages which is like a text message or you can click on mail and email it to your child's teacher so all you have to do is Type in their email address. You can give it a subject name. Hit the send button. And it might take it, you know, a few seconds to upload, but you should hear that take off in a few minutes. Give it some time, make sure that it works, and then you know you've successfully submitted your student's work or your child's work to their teacher. And there it came. So you should be good to go for that. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you on the next tutorial.